Hi, and welcome back to My Orchid Life. However, today is Sunday, so Sundays is a houseplant day here in my neck of the woods. I appreciate you coming by to see what I'm up to. Today, I am going to attempt to make a succulent garden. I'm going to try to make one in here and then kind of redo this one here. This is the one that I've had outside all spring and summer. I am missing one. Whoops, sorry about that. I'm missing one here. This new growth here, got two new growths here off of our little baby here. So I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to put it in there. I am going to take these two leggy Oh, it's actually three these three leggies things out of here and I'm going to put this let's see it's a royal zebra royal arbor Albert Hothria Hothria if I had this is the only one I have a name for really and then this one here which is a graptocetum it's just a little hybrid and it did suffer a little bit the grasshoppers kind of got a hold of it but let's see what we can find find uh, okay you know what let's unpot these guys first and then we will go from the, there and I've got a knife that I am just going to kind of go around each one to get it out this way I can reuse the soil if need be let's see oh this one is got one that is coming up let's show you real quick so it's got couple of babies it's going to try to make for us so let's lay that to the side and carefully let's loosen this up here let me know down below if you have a succulent, a succulent garden or if you grow succulents and if you're able to grow them mainly outside or if you have to grow them inside I have found I am enjoying the succulents I'm just going to throw that piece away I am enjoying succulents because they are very low maintenance I don't have to pay a lot of attention to them and as I am trying to focus more on my orchids it actually has become really beneficial in the fact that they are so low maintenance all right so this one has a nice nice little root system on it and we won't take too much off let's see i'm wondering if these are all the same thing so i may put all of the tree ones kind of in here together just to see but let's let me get them all out of their pots first and we'll just dump the bulk of this out like i said i may end up reusing this because the soil's not old it's not hasn't been in here very long I just I repotted these um, probably at the beginning of 2021 and it's just October so this soil should still be pretty good but I will go ahead and the soil what it is is it's just regular potting soil miracle Grow potting soil perlite and some bark chips and there's a little bit of rock in there as well and I do that for aeration and then let's get these guys out and then I've got a little little plastic bowl of rocks to put at the top for decoration so I'm gonna get most of the rocks off the top of these reuse instead of throwing them out all right that's all we're gonna do with that and I think this one just I don't think that the the bowl it was in was deep enough oh it's just gonna let me do it this way and if you know the names of any of these, uh, you can leave that in the comments down below as well. I will Google, try to Google and see if I can figure out what these are, but Google doesn't really give you a very good idea most of the time on succulents. It tends to confuse you. Well, confuse me. And this one has lost quite a few leaves, and I think it's just because I had, I kind of had them in the dark for a while are darker than what they prefer. And the more light you give them, the more anthocyanin comes out. Can you see the little red tinge on that one? Yeah, I think I'm gonna put the taller ones just back into this round pot. Well, some of them. And then I've got one of my monocle type because again, it's, it's very much like a succulent. It doesn't require a lot of attention. I water it once a month and I messed up and watered it uh, a couple of days ago. So it's still kind of wet. I am going to start off with this cutie here, this zebra. I see this all the time and I'm always like, I'm going to get me one of those. And I finally did. I just think they are so, so cute. And I think it'll look really nice in here, especially once it really fills in. Uh, let me grab a rock to put to close off our little drain hole here so that the dirt doesn't fall out of it. Nice flat one there. Let's see what we've got in here. And I'm just going to take it out and pretty much... I'm not going to take too much of the dirt off. Oh, it's got nice little roots in there. But I am going to get some of the dirt out from away so we can see the base. Let that base breathe a little bit. Clean off. Let's see, we've got a, got a spoiled one right there. 
See, look at the roots on here. Nice. Set it up for success, right? There we go. We're just going to put them right in there like that and top off the dirt. And let me know where you guys live, too. Where are you watching from? Part of the world are you in? Make sure I have him in the center there. I am in Denver, Colorado, in the western part of the United States home of the Rocky Mountains, which I must say on my drive, because I, draw, I um, work twice a week, about an hour from Denver, and the drive is just gorgeous. And it really doesn't matter the weather, simply because I get to see the mountains. And it is such a beautiful, beautiful view, even especially at this time of the year when there's been snow up in the mountains, not quite down here, and you can see the snow on the mountaintops. It's really, really pretty. And I'm going to take my little spray bottle, and I'm just going to settle the dirt around, up at the top. I'm not going to water because I bought this about a week ago, and they must have just watered when I bought it because it is still soaking wet. But isn't that the cutest? And it's going to look so cute once it really fills in. And I'll put some rock at the top for decoration just to help keep that soil from looking all crusty because that does take away from how it looks. All right, well, there's that one. I just think it is so cute. And I'm just going to put this little saucer up underneath it just in case when I do go to water, if a little water drains off, it doesn't... Uh, affect it too much and then let's see what we're going to do with this one here because i would like to put this one you know what i have another one of these i think i'm just going to put them both in here yep i'll be right back so i'm actually going to put these two in this white one because i just think it'll look so pretty offsetting on these because this is kind of how i had them to begin with kind of in these individual pots like so. I'm just going to go ahead and pop them in here. And then these guys here we'll put in the other slender one. And then I have rock at the bottom to help keep that soil from building up down there. And I brought a bamboo skewer just in case I needed it. I don't think I will, but one never knows. It's best to have something you don't need. And like, per perfect example, I decided I wanted this other plant and didn't have it and so I had to go get it. All right, let me just make two little holes. And like I said, I did just water these guys so they are a little wet. Up oh, and that's all right. Oh, there's actually three. Oh, you know what? Let's just take them out and see. Maybe we can just play around with this. This is the cool thing also, guys, with succulents that I like is you can kind of play around with them and see because they look different in different setups. So let's just see what we can make here. I'm just using the bamboo skewer to kind of break up this wet soil so that it's not so clumpy. And there is slow release fertilizer already in here and I'll add the slow release fertilizer to the rest of them after the video. Let's see, let's put one here. We'll put one here and here. And another thing a bamboo skewer is good for is making a hole, especially if you're like I am and you really don't like getting your hands dirty with wet soil. It feels kind of nasty. <clears throat> and Oh, those two have kind of gotten stuck together, haven't they? There we go. And I'm just kind of spreading them around. I'm not putting them in any kind of... Uh, I lie. I am kind of putting them in some kind of an order. And, oh, three in the front, three in the back. There we go. And then we'll see how they grow. Do that one a little bit lower. All right. And then we will just fill that in with some dry soil. And I'm going to use my spoon this time to move those girls out the way so that I can be more precise in where I am putting the dirt as I'm putting my little cooking spoon in my little cooking bowl. I love this bowl. I use this bowl all the time. I use it for house plants. I use it when I'm redoing my orchids. Become the perfect little, little tool for me. And if you are interested to where I got it, I got it at Le Dollar Tree here in the United States. I don't know if um, in Europe, if you have something equivalent where the Dollar Tree is literally like everything is a dollar. Obviously, tax, you have to add that, but it is a dollar plus tax. And you can get some really nice stuff in there. If you're just starting out, especially if you're a new young little couple and you're starting out with your first apartment. It's a great place to get inexpensive dishes and um, they don't have towels there but you just kind of have to shop it 
to see what they have. They um they always their their stock is always changing, but there are certain things that they always have and mixing bowls is one of them. All right, I'm gonna put the rocks on here and then we'll move on to the next one. All right, well there is our little Sansevieria Bonacle style almost succulent types, but they have the same care as a regular succulent, and I'll wipe all that off later. I did not bring a paper towel to clean off my little white I was not expecting to use. And, and now, last but not least, let's see what we're going to do with these guys here. These I can put in pretty deep. I think I'll just do those three in this one. Let's see. Hold on. Let me see. Maybe if I do these two kind of right here, then I can put this one here. And, yep. All right. Decision has been made. There we go. Put that there. And where's the other big one? There it is. I'm going to put him right here to kind of hang over the pot that way. And then that will take care of some of that nakedness that this one had too. All right. I like that so far. A little bit more dirt on this side here so that we already have that all topped off. And then we'll take this one and we'll put one on either side. And this is my first attempt at making succulent gardens. So don't be afraid to leave comments below on how you think this would have looked a little bit better or what plants I could have gotten to help make it look a little, little more attractive. And I did bring some extra soil because I figured I would run out. And I almost did. And I'm putting them kind of close together just to make it look a little more full in La Pot. There we go. I wonder if I should put a baby on either side. Let's try it. Let's see if I can split them. I'll put a baby right here. But I'm going to put her really deep. Most of her stem is in the pot. Soil is dry, so I don't mind putting my hand in it. It's the wet soil that just, I don't know, there's just something about the feeling of wet soil that kind of creeps me out a little bit. And then we'll put our rock in and we'll be all set and ready to go. Rock and roll, rock and roll. Let me just mist the top of this one though, because this soil is pretty dry. And that'll help wash off some of this dirt that I've got on here as well. All right. Put the rocks in and I'll be right back. And there we have it. Let me move all this stuff out the way so we can kind of see, even with this mess. I'm, I should probably put that in one of these little ones. I'll decide here in a little bit. But we've got this one here that I think turned out pretty good. We'll have to wait and see what happens with our two little babies we had there. And then my little zebra oh, that has a rock right in the middle. There we go. Is that not just the cutest little thing? And then my bonacles that I decided to put in here and split up. And there's six of them in there. So it'll be interesting to see how that grows. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Go ahead and give the video a like. Subscribe if you want to see more houseplant content on Sundays and then orchid content during the week. And again, if you grow succulents and you have an idea of what I could have done to make this look a little bit better, more colorful maybe, Leave it in the comments down below as I am new to succulent gardening, but I think I might do a little bit more of it. I kind of had fun. Hope everybody has a great and wonderful day, and I'll see you on the next one.